Hey YouTube, it's the American Samurai back again with another Golden Age review. Today we are looking at Black Issue. Uh, Black Terror Issue 11 reprint, which I picked up from Amazon.com for about $8.99. Okay, contains two stories of Black Terror. First one, a gigantic, <clears throat> I'll give you the base plot first one, a gigantic skull and crossbones in the sky herald a mysterious voice to the chosen victims of the voice, guided by the whispers of clues, whispered clues of dying men, Bob Benton, alias the Black Terror, and his fighting partner Tim. Go west in another spine tingling victorious adventure. That's the first story. Uh, the second story is called Lusan Luck by Charles S. Strong, a young Filipino cleverness to match the Japs. Uh, this tells how a young boy, a young Filipino boy, along with um, two animals. A rooster and a cow managed to save an American captain. Uh, it should be known the captain in the story is named Steve Rogers. So I don't know if this is before or after Captain America was introduced. Uh, the second Black Terror story: the discovery of new mineral of a the discovery of a new mineral rich isle on the southern hemisphere inspires summons Bob Benton and his young pal Tim to form or from their quiet drugstore. The into an adventure into into New America to adventure that rivals the best and most exciting career of the renowned Black Terra champion of justice and decency. Then we have the Bank Bats by Tex Munford. Uh, this is a Western story where a young child able to figure out who these robbers were by the fact that even though they changed their horse and their clothes they're using the same saddles and he ex know the detail of that and then we have a new, a new character here who was that my last review? Morford, uh, Mun Munford? Mortimer the, ma the magic and he seems to have the Zoltan type or Z Zatanna I don't know I think it's Zatanna but uh, powers where he, he can make spells happen but he has to talk backwards so the story starts by him making a giant, making a giant can can, and then making a giant bone for his dog. But then the scientist thinks it's a dinosaur bone, thinking that he can help. He turns the bone into an actual dinosaur. Um, he tends to make he was going to go away. Turns out the dinosaur is friendly, so he names him Marmaduke and keeps him. His dad ends up getting in a fight with the dinosaur. He is thrown in the tree and then comes back. Only to find that uh, he basically has kept the pet because he can't make it banish because he's too fond of him. So yeah, it's, uh, by the end of the story, he's got a dog and a dino. And the dinosaur's name is Duke, so I don't know. When was Marmaduke first done? Uh, the Peruvian Boy um, by William M. McCullen. Chico Peru, uh, uh, Chico, I this right, Peru, his real name to the Americans. Basically, this is another story where the Germans um, try and rob this boy's caravan of the supplies for the American soldiers, but he's smart and actually was able to hide it under the saddle and use a woolen blanket so the Germans didn't realize they had stolen fake stuff. We have a one-shot comic with Adam the Chimp, who I think, judging from the timeline, may be an early, or may have originally been Zapita Chimp. He talks to a phone someone and then just says goodbye. I don't know, I guess it was for the gas here. This is okay. I don't think it was just the last issue I read, so I think it's about a three out of five. If you guys want to check this out for yourself, go to digitalcomicsmuseum.com. And I'll see you next time. Sayonara.